Whenever you're ready, can you talk through what you built? Yeah, so we built a ball balancing robot and we use like a PID um, controller to balance it on this platform here. We have two servo motors down here that control like tilting the plane up in like um, in two axes and then we have a camera that takes in the frame data and then with the Raspberry or with the Raspberry Pi we get the position. We uh -huh. thresh, do some thresholding, get the position of the ball in that frame and then send it over to the Pico through UART where we do like the control and like air, air um, Yeah, stuff. so in the Pico we had mainly two different things that we do. The first thing is the VGA stuff uh -huh. where it shows the ball position and also the two graphs on the side where the basically PID control signals and the other thing is just it generally does the PID control and sends the signal to, okay. uh, to the PWM signal to the server. Mm -hmm. Cool. We can give it some power right now. So it's gonna be controlling the ball. Right, right now, oh, let me. Yeah. Yeah, so right now it's controlling it to this uh, pink dot in the center. And you can kind of flip the ball. Oh, flip it a little too hard. <laughs> you can kind of flip the ball. Oh, and it'll control cool. back to the center. And um, it's a little jittery, but it's kind of just because like when it's updating, it's like snapping between pixels. Uh huh. So something we like, potentially, I, I guess, could have fixed. But if I if I push this button here, it'll like control to like a moving target. Okay. So now it's the four dots on the side. So it's oh, like how a neat! Thing. Yeah. So it's moving it to each corner in yeah. sequence. Yeah. And then if I click the button again, it'll go back to just controlling in the center. Wow. Yeah. And then what are the two plots showing? So this plot down here, it shows the derivative of the error, um, the integral and proportional gain, is, and then this shows the um, like the control that we're sending um, to the motor. Okay. And for different axes. So it's useful for It, it was useful for like debugging, yeah, yeah, and visualizing yeah. kind of, you know, how we need to tune the parameters. Very nice. And how, um, how quickly is your PID controller running? Like how frequently um, do you have to send new new commands to the motors? I don't know the exact, I, th I think we're actually, we're kind of bottlenecked by the frame rate of here. Sure. So I think we actually yeah. are reading like faster than yeah. what we're actually like, um, I think this reads at like 30 frames per second. Uh. And I, yeah, I think we're reading uh, quite a bit faster than that, but. Um, yeah, the signal is like 50 hertz. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Really nice. And it's the, the mechanical design here is really, uh, really yeah, quite a nice. Yeah, a lot of 3D printed parts we have, um, some bearings to kind of make the uh, motion a little like smoother. Uh huh. And then, yeah, just, <laughs> just kind of went crazy with the beauty for Yeah, really, really nice. Awesome. And you got your Raspberry Pi for interfacing with the camera, yep. communicating. Yeah. You said over you are to the Pico. Yeah. And the Pico does all of that. The real time control yeah. business. Really, really nice. Awesome. Thank you both. Yeah.